what is going on guys this is Nathan from take it back again with another video today I'm going to bring you guys a quick tip on how to change slash customize the icons on your application so this is really easy to do and just before I get into it I want to say sorry for not making a video for uh, it's about two weeks and the reason for that was because I was taking finals at my school and I really wanted to do good on those finals and I was really studying so I didn't have time and I was kind of taking a break and resting for a few days because I was sick again. So, uh, but now I'm perfectly fine and I'm on my break. So expect more videos on the channel. But anyways, let's get right into it. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to change an app icon. So the ones that I'm going to demonstrate is going to be the iTunes icon that you see here. Now on the Mac, the iTunes icon or even on Windows is white, blue, and pink. But over here you could see it's red and white. So what I've done to do to do that is really simple. I go into my browser, the, the one that I desire, which is Safari, of course, um, because I'm on a Mac, and I just um, search something that I like. So I would want the iTunes icon PNG. So I would type iTunes icon PNG, and then I would go into the images, and a lot of them would come up. So I like this one, actually. And this is how you do it. So you press view image and this, and then you have to press copy image. And then what you do is you have to go into your finder. And what happens is, is you have to go into your applications and then press get info. And then you will see the icon right here. And what you want to do is press edit and then paste. And then it will ask you for your password and I will enter my password as it wants. And then you could see that it's going to quickly change the icon. So now if I launch iTunes, and I'm going to quit it just to make sure. You could see that the icon has changed. Now, don't worry. There is a way to change it back to the original. You do the same thing. You go into Get Info and then click on the icon and just delete it, backspace, and put in your password again. And there you have it. So that's a quick tip that I really enjoy because I like to customize some of my icons. And in my past videos, you probably... I get comments like how do you change some of the icons like for my quick tip icon it was like this different color and my calendar was different it's really easy to do just you know search for an icon png and it's really you know find the one that you like and then get info and then paste it put in your password and you got it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you like more videos like this then comment below and see you guys in the next one